following video is on carried interest and how it applies to private equity. To begin, a short definition. Carried interest is the percentage of profits that the general partners of a private equity fund receive as incentive for good performance. The carried interest compensation typically ranges from 20 to 30 percent of profits, which is a substantial amount of money for the fund's investors. Private equity and carried interest relate because a private equity fund is a partnership created to obtain a significant, often majority stake in an expanding or underperforming co company. Outside investors, the limited partners, provide most of the funding capital, which is typically around 90 to 97 percent. The remaining funding of 3 to 10 percent is provided by the general partners of the fund, who in turn receive management fees. The typical compensation set up for private equity fund managers is 1 to 2 percent of the total fund assets and the carried interest. This arrangement is often very beneficial for the manager and serves as a method for investors to motivate and reward good performance by the general partners. So you can see that carried interest is a very crucial part of private equity compensation. Carried interest taxation. There is a large amount of controversy surrounding the taxation of private equity carried interest. Currently, carried interest is taxed as long-term capital gains, but advocates for private equity tax reform would like carried interest to be taxed as ordinary income. The change would raise taxes for carried interest from the current 15% to as high as 35%. There have been many recent attempts, but private equity advocates challenge the proposal, and, it's, and it is hard to say whether the, the private equity tax reform will occur anytime soon. Now I'm going to move on to how carried interest is distributed based on the carried interest and compensation survey by PEP Digest. This survey reveals that an, increasing, uh, an increasingly weighted average allocation towards partners as the fund size increases. In other words, partners receive a larger share of the carried interest as the fund's AUM or assets under management increases. The only exception is at the highest AUM category of more than $1 billion. Partners managing funds in this category actually take home a smaller percentage of the carry than partners in funds with under $100 million in assets under management. The average allocation of carried interest for partners is 68.6%. As you might expect, given that partners take in a share of the carried interest relative to the size of the fund, the top professionals at private equity firms are given a smaller percentage of the carry as the fund size increases. So the carried interest compensation for top professionals as, at private equity firms is in an inverse relationship to the size of the buyout fund. The average carried interest allocation for top professionals and executives at private equity firms is 10.5%. Mid-level professionals uh, the allocation is mixed, suggesting that the percentage varies by individual firm and how the management is negotiating compensation agreements with its employees. For example, a mid-level professional may be extremely valuable and in line for promotion, so the management will f allocate a larger percentage of the carry as part of a larger compensation package aimed at retaining the person. While others may be of less value and are given the standard percentage or even less. According to the data from the survey, at the smallest funds within the $100 million AUM category, middle professionals are given 8%, but that number increases and decreases by the AUM category. At a fund with 250 to $500 million, a mid-level professional can expect 9.1%, but at a larger fund or of somewhere around the order of 750 to $1 billion, he or she may take home just 7% of the carry. Logically, funds exceeding $1 billion give top, to, uh, give top to middle employees a larger share of the carried interest because the partners are taking a smaller cut. The average carried interest allocation for mid-level professionals is 8.55%, according to the latest data. For entry professionals, they are paid comparably, comparably to administration's uh, staff and receive significantly less of the carry than middle uh, mid-level professionals. Still, the overall compensation of entry professionals is very competitive in other financial jobs and, uh, and with other financial uh, jobs, and the opportunity to advance in a private equity firm usually helps retain employees past the entry-level phase. 
entry level professionals typically receive an average carried interest allocation of 0.66%, although that would obviously change as the professionals scale, scale the rungs of the uh, private equity ladder in that firm. Administration staff uh, in funds across the AUM spectrum from under, ten, from under $100 million to more than a $1 billion, administration staff take home less than 1% of the carried interest, but almost always more than half a percent. The average carried interest allocation for mid-level professionals is 0.65%, so just under the average for entry-level professionals. Obviously, these numbers could be subject to change, but it gives you an idea of what to expect if you're looking for compensation at a private equity firm. I hope that this video provided a great overview of private equity and carried interest. Thank you.